Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 5, Episode 19. Um, uh, in today's episode, we are going to be hopefully making a path from the house to the barn. Uh, I don't know what we'll make the path out of yet, but, you know. Uh, also, I'm finished with Tanner's Tornado Survival Resource Pack Version 2. Um... The good news is it's all under one folder now. See, look. Don't need the rainy day thing. I combined the two. And um, uh, it's got a new tornado siren texture. Kind of, kind of looks like a speaker. I um, uh, tried two things with this one. And this was the one that I liked better. Uh, then I got a new radar texture. Which just has a radar on the side. So there's that. Um, and I guess I can show the other ones in this. In the reveal video this afternoon, where you can download it this afternoon. So yeah, just later on this afternoon or evening, I'll have a video out to where you can download it, and I'll give a full review on it. Of course, it has the new sounds that I have, and you all don't right now. <laughs> but yeah, so how are we gonna make this path? I think cobble for sure. Do that. Well, I don't know. I'm tired because I just got up and, um, uh, yeah, so my voice is probably, ugh, right now. No, I don't want to make a pass. <laughs> I'm not good at pass. We need to make a watchtower, too. Uh, what could we do today? Guess we could go explore the nether. Yeah, I guess we could. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna go explore the nether. Uh, let's get some quartz, why not? I don't know what we'll use quartz for, but yeah. Uh, I don't really have anything on me important, right? Now nah, let's go. We're going to the nether, going to... Oh, I need arrows if I have them. <laughs> Please tell me I have arrows. No arrows. I will take ender pearls. <laughs> Get me out of lava. Where's the um uh those hay bales in there? Oh yeah, I guess we can get some close ones. I guess I've already been to the nether. I have all that glowstone. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, I've already been to the nether. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll just work on the barn then. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Alright, let's go up and... Eh. Let's go up and let's grab some... Fancy posty. I need this. Maybe. <laughs> I need some chests. Always take birds with us just because. Not enough folk. Okay. First, let's go see where this thing's heading to. So, heading away. So, it'll be fine. Am I right? I'm alright. Okay, so. I shouldn't have done this at night time. Oh, we've got this awesome sword. So, <laughs> no other option. Oh, he snuck up on me. Ooh, got him. Um, so while we're doing some cleansing here of the outdoors, um, today I have a slight risk for our area. Um, they talked about upgrading it. They might still. In the latest update, SPC didn't upgrade it. It's at a slight risk and it has a categorical category of 5% tornado risk and if it's not in, on me, it's near me. That's all I know. Guess we're gonna have to clear this out. Yep, there we go. Let's 
come on, Tanner. What was that, me? I knew he was gonna explode. I was just like, whatever. <laughs> I just gave up after that. Um, so yeah, there is a chance for, um, a tornado for me, I guess. I doubt 5% is pretty low, and it seems to be more of a squall line moving through with the cold front than a risk for tornadoes. If it did, it'd just be a quick spin up. Nothing to really worry about, that's for sure. Um, let's see, let's just get rid of this dirt one off. I'd say it's going to turn and it's going to go that way. Hmm. Let's get this. Yep, there we go. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'll ever be able to start. Okay, oh my god, I just killed mobs everywhere. Okay, I should have just slept. Let's just go back to the house and... What? <laughs> just go back to the house and sleep. It's obviously not going my way. Oh, and I redid my skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it's got sunglasses now. So, yeah, because it's always sunny in this world and not ever raining or anything. <laughs> it's actually storming outside right now, but it's not severe, so. Dogs, why? There's two of you. Enchanted bow, yo. Oh, get wrecked, get wrecked. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Jesus Christ, where are they, all these coming from? Stop! Okay, you know what? <laughs> Same going swell. Now let's hurry up and sleep. Wow, they didn't even turn into a tornado. That's rare. They usually all turn into tornadoes. Oh, right, yes. So, yeah, there's going to be a boundary that stalls below us, apparently, and it's going to regenerate to new storms. And until the cold front comes through, sphere storms are possible. And, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the situation for me. Um, Let's go get started, I guess. And that did turn a little. Okay, let's do that. Nope, just keep running. <laughs> uh, what else was I going to talk about this episode? Um, I'm supposed to be recording this, right? Yeah, I think so. Is that what today's is for? I don't know. I hate you so much. I hate you so much, too. Why? <laughs> just why? <laughs> Why would you blow up then? <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, there we go. Alright, so I guess I should probably mention the fire resistance thing and lessen all of them. So, he says that he did it for revenge and all, but I don't know what he was getting it for. We've had our <laughs> back and forths with each other, so. It's just that I had blocked all of them, <laughs> and I was done with it, with the whole situation. And then, you know, well, would you look at that? My server gets griefed. And then afterwards, our agreement was to just block each other and move on. And I'm like, that's what I already did. <laughs> and that didn't go very well for me. <laughs> so, you, you got to make sure that you're not going to still grief my server, even though I agreed to block you. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things, like, do I trust them? 
is he really just going to leave me alone? And what options do I have here? Is it just like... <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird situation. And, um, uh, also... I don't even know what's up with Cookie. He just, like, stopped talking to me and recorded with fire. So, you know. I guess. Hmm. I guess he just wanted the views, and I'm not in it for the views, but if he's in it for the views, that's good for him. Uh, wow. Why is there a cobble under here? Um. Uh, to be honest with you, I really don't care. I'm not. I'm just not going to hang out with that group of people anymore it's not the right group for me and it never was after tornado wars or whatever and how that ended so wow you gonna like freak out on me game do you have to drop to 38 frames per second i don't know but yeah so after that situation i knew it wasn't my type of group to hang out with but you know whatever uh I don't even know why we're making a pasture for these guys, considering they die from hail. <laughs> but, you know, I guess it can just be for the looks. Okay. Yes, yeah, probably big enough. Plus, they're animals, you know, so. Let's go. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see, do that. Dang it. <laughs> no, not that. Do that. Okay. So what was I saying? Yeah, with the fire resistance conflict, I'm just not going to hang out with those people. And if they try to contact me about anything, I'm just going to, you know. Oh, dang it, I got to go out one more. <laughs> Whoop save. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. Gosh darn you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. I was like, why? <laughs> okay, so we'll find animals one episode, I'm telling you. Whoopsies. I keep saying whoopsies a bunch. Okay, yep. Okay, what else was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, and Fire, in like, backlash of it, he was like, blackmailing me to take down the video. He was like, if you don't take down the video, I'm gonna upload a video of you saying that you called the entire Tornado Survival Community crap. And I'm like, yeah, I'll own up to that completely. And, um, uh, a lot of you are probably like, really? You think that this community is terrible? And, yeah. 100% no doubt in my heart. Um, to tell you the truth, from all that I've been through, yeah, I hate this community. The people in it are absolutely terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I started out, the first time I, you know, started recording with these people is from Tornado Wars, right? And, I mean, that went well. <laughs> Some kid, like, got offended because someone called him a b-word and and he quit the group and I'm thinking well huh can't believe you quit oh well better move better end the series because that's completely uneven numbers and you can't have a war with like four people so I'm thinking okay well end of series and then he's like oh no that was my best viewing series I better create it on my own with my own friends that won't offend me because of a simple word and then, and I know this is old news, but I'm just going to go back in time here with my <laughs> experience in this group. So he's like, I'm going to create my own series without asking Tanner's permission. Okay, and then, of course, <laughs> he asks for my permission, and, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't ask for my permission. Starts the series anyways with his friends without asking me, without asking for my permission and all of a sudden <laughs> alright that was weird sorry about that guys my recording cut out but yeah all of a sudden my series is taken by him and with people I don't know and not my 
not my friends or anything like that, so, I mean, and then whenever I finally am able con to confront him on Skype about it, he starts screaming, harassment, harassment, I'm being harassed, and then, of course, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll say, I wasn't, I wasn't using kind words at that point. At that point, I was pretty pissed that he had taken my series, because I'm like, what the fudge? I just ended this because of you, and you're starting your own? How does that work? I'm sorry that you don't like the people that I picked out for this series, but it is my series, my idea. I paid for a server to do this, and now you're over here <laughs> taking it from me, because you got offended when someone called you the B-word, so... After that, of course, he uploads the video. <laughs> Not recording with Tanner and Cookie anymore. And all of this, just because of a silly little game. Where he, I mean, at this point, he had threatened to commit suicide over this. Just because of a silly argument. And, I mean, depression isn't anything to joke about by any means. Um, so, whenever... He's, okay, he, everyone knows that he was not going to kill himself over a game. Even his friends were like, dude, he's not actually going to kill himself over the game. It's fine, but he is upset. And I'm like, well, you don't make suicidal threats over a game is what I'm trying to say here. And, of course, after he did that, we started, we stopped talking for a while. And, of course, we got on... And I grieved the server for it, something I shouldn't have done, but it's something I admit to. And, of course, that created more conflict. And eventually, I joked about DDoSing him or something, like, hoo hoo hoo, DDoSing. Less the gamer, one day, I haven't, I hadn't even been on the server in like a couple weeks or so. Um, I just get on the server one day, and everyone's like, hey, Tanner, screw you, you stupid brat. I can't believe you do this, you terrible person. And I'm like, what? what is going on? And <laughs> apparently I had been accused of DDoS. <laughs> By Les. I'm thinking, oh my god, this crap never ends. I mean, we, we've still got a lot more to cover at this point, just a reminder. So, <laughs> just, just if you think that it's starting to wind down, no. So... Then I start calling less names. I'm like, you're such a horrible person. And he's like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, sorry's not enough for this. You're accusing me of a federal crime. I'm not just going to take sorry and move on. It's not right for you to accuse someone of DDoSing. DDoSing is not okay. It's not something you joke about. And, well, not something that you accuse someone. You can joke about it all you want. I really don't care. But, oh, crap. Do we have to go up there and... No, I think we just had to go up here. But yeah, so... After that... it's I get banned from their server because I was... They're siding with Les, even though he... Was wrong and... I mean, all that. But they're still siding with Les because he's their friend. So... I get banned for being mean or whatever. And later on... They decide to grief my server. Well... A couple of things happened between then, but, um, later, uh, Poisonous Cookie, Cookie, just stopped talking to me for, like, like, I couldn't get to him on Skype, I couldn't, I couldn't contact him in any way, I was, he was online, but he wouldn't contact me, he was uploading videos to Fire Resistance and all his friends, but I couldn't talk to him. And it's weird because it just happened all of a sudden. He just stopped contact. And I don't know what I did to him or what's wrong, but he just stopped contact with me. And I don't know. So he acts like he hates me now. So I don't know what it's from, but that's just how it was with me and Cookie. And like I said, dang, it's really raining. That's why I thought that he left reviews, is because he just went back to fire without telling me anything, so. Natal Power did a similar thing. He started recording with fire, and, I mean, that's kind of different. Man, it's pouring down outside. That's kind of different, but, because he still contacted me, like, he'll talk to me about it instead of just, Okay, bye, I'm going to give views.
Bye, Tanner. It's Cookie. <laughs> and then, of course, later, Cookie, Nate, and all them, Fire, Les, Shooter Brady, were all involved in griefing of my server, ruining towns, and then crashing it through World Edit. Um, uh, of course, I was pretty ticked about that, too, because previously, the night before, I had joined a town, and we had done so much stuff. We had done many buildings. We created some farms. We created a giant tree farm, which took hours to build. And all of that got deleted because of them. Uh, hours of my life just deleted by them because they decided it'd be funny to get revenge from something about a month earlier. So, I mean... And then they turn it around on me again. I got in a Skype call with them to talk about it or something. They're like, he's like crying. He's like, I never should have created my channel. Whenever he's the one that led to this issue. <laughs> if you hadn't griefed my server, maybe I wouldn't have uploaded a video explaining how you griefed my server. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, you should have saw that coming. You should have expected a video. And it's nothing to cry about. You made the mistake, except your consequences. Because whenever I griefed a server, I, yeah, I accepted the consequences. I was like, yeah, that, that was me. I griefed it. He was trying to, he trying to say, I didn't do it. I mean, yeah, sorry, and all this, and cried about it. And then later tried to turn it against me, threatening to upload a video saying, I th hate the Tornado Survival Community. And that's why I'm here today is, I'd be happy if he uploaded the video because, honestly, I hate the Tornado Survival Community because of my past experiences with the Tornado Survival Community, as explained in, like, 15 minutes before this. Ugh. Just a little rant for you, but I thought that I really needed to explain what's been going on and not just leave you all out. But, yeah, I'm not going to be doing any, like, co-op Tornado stuff unless I did it with Purple Viking or maybe someone that not involved already that I've never met before who's not missing half his brain cells or something so yeah I definitely won't because of this past experiences if you are younger than me I will not be recording with you well if you're substantially younger than me I will not be recording with you because I've found that I don't care who you are you're most likely immature <laughs> that's just what I've learned from fighters group of friends so not to be, like, profiling or anything like that, but I just don't feel comfortable recording with you. So, yeah. But that's gonna be do it for this episode. We got quite a bit done. Lit up all this up there so that we won't get mobs. And we create a little outdoor area for the, for the cows to roam in once we get them wherever they are out there. But, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Click on the tornado at any time to be directed to the playlist um today i'm gonna be live streaming girl truck simulator 2 with american mods and the scantinavian dlc so yeah um uh thanks for watching and i guess i'm gonna see you all later bye, bye.